Before watching video number two, you should have worked the number one problem on the worksheet on your own. If your answers were not x equals negative two or negative one for number one, then you need to go back and revisit video number one and problem number one and figure out where you're going wrong. For number two, you can see that this problem is not equal to zero. So I have choices. I could move the n squared over to the right hand side to join with the other terms there. But I really don't want to do that because that would make my n squared negative, which is a little more difficult. So even though I'm going to have to move two things instead of one, I would rather move these two over to join with the positive n squared. Plus when I move them, they'll both get sign changes and that will put everything to positive numbers, which tends to be a little bit easier when we're working with positives instead of negatives. So my first step is making it equal to zero. When I move the minus four in over, it's going to turn positive and the same with the minus three. And now there's nothing left on the right hand side. So my answer on the right hand side is zero. It's in standard form, n squared n constant, and I'm ready to factor. This one again does not have a number in front of the n squared except for the understood one. So I'm ready to go straight into factoring and I'm looking for a pair of factors that multiplies to make three, positive three, but at the same time it adds to make positive four. Since three is a prime number, you don't have a whole lot of options and I hope that you have already decided that your pair of factors will be three and one, because three times one equals three, and three plus one equals the four. So when I factor this into the two sets of parentheses, the numbers that I'll put in the parentheses with the ends are three and one. N squared is N times N, and my numbers of positive three and positive one. So again, a quick check to make sure you're, you didn't get off track n times n is n squared, 3 times 1 is 3, the 4n comes from this combination, 3 times n plus 1 times n, which adds up to 4n. So I know that this is correct and I'm ready to get my solutions for the two n's that I have. So my first choice, n plus 3 equals 0, means that n would have to be negative 3 if you bumped that over to get the n by itself. There's one answer. Second answer, if n plus 1 equals 0, and I solve this one for n, then n would be negative 1. So here are my two possible answers for n. n could be negative 3 or n could be negative 1. You need to work number two on the worksheet on your own before you watch video number three.